How's it going guys? In this video, we're gonna figure out the best way to create a practical jetpack effect for your toy photography. But hey, if you don't wanna make a practical effect or do any of this, I'm gonna have a free download for a file that you can use to create a jetpack in your own photos. Just download it, it's free. I made it, it's awesome, so yeah. So if you're a big Star Wars fan and you like to do toy photography, you collect figures like this, you know, one of the things that's really fun to do, one of the things you'll really want to do when taking photos is create a jetpack and make these figures and these characters fly like they do in the movies and stuff. There's a lot of different practical ways we can do that with smoke and sparks and stuff like that. And what I really want to figure out is which one of these ways is the best one, which one is the best. So we're going to try out a bunch of different methods to create the jetpack effect and we'll see which one's the coolest. And like I was saying before, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna show you how to use the free downloadable file that I have in the description of this video to use for your own toy photography. So the figure I'm gonna be using today is the new Gaming Greats Clone Jet Trooper. And it's actually really a pretty sweet figure. I actually like him quite a bit, but a lot of the paint on him is pretty bland. There's a lot of plain white on him. So I'm going to weather him up a little bit by just giving him a quick coat of this black shoe polish. And I actually have an entire video on this whole weathering process, and I'll have that linked in the description here. But after I give him a quick coat of the black wash, I'm going to wipe it off, then give him a quick coat of this matte finish spray. And I'll have all of this gear linked in the description of this video as well. It's a nice subtle difference, but now he is ready for action. So the biggest question with pyrotechnics, practical effects, sparklers, stuff like this is where the heck do you get them? Where do you get these fireworks? And that's going to be a different answer no matter where you live. Unfortunately, I live in New York. I usually take a four hour drive down to Pennsylvania to go to this big fireworks shop and I get a bunch of stuff and stock up for the whole year. And then also usually around July 4th, I can find them pretty much everywhere in little stands because of 4th of July. So um, I would definitely just recommend doing a quick search to see if there's any fireworks shops near you. Or who knows, you might be able to actually find these online. Maybe just search for sparklers on, on eBay. Maybe, maybe you can find them. But I would definitely recommend searching to see if you have any somewhat near your location. But like I said, if you don't want to use any of this stuff, you can just use the free file I have below and it's going to look awesome. So the things I'm going to be using today, uh, I'm going to use this firework fuse. It's really cool. Once you light it, it just creates these really cool, small little sparks and it's a really cool effect. So I'm going to try that for one of the things for a jetpack. Uh, I'm also just going to use some basic random normal sparklers. I don't think that'll look really that great, but these are really probably the easiest ones to get a hold of. But who knows, those, they might look pretty cool. And they're also just useful for other things too, for toy photography. I'm also going to use smoke bombs. These things are really cheap. You will probably be able to find these online somewhere. Um, I feel like that's probably the easiest one. And that could be definitely a cool different kind of effect. So we're going to try that out too. And then my favorite are these big sparklers. They're big neon ones that create this big long spark effect that's perfect for a jetpack. And that's what I usually use. And these are, this is a black cat, really neon. But you know, every single firework brand has their own version of stuff like this. So uh, definitely recommend these. We're gonna try all of them. So first I'm gonna get started with just the normal sparkler. So I've got everything all set up here. I got my jet clone guy over here, uh, propped up on a wire in a cool jetpack looking pose. I also have a couple tutorials that go a little bit more in detail with pyrotechnics, explosions, and editing, and all the way I do all this stuff. So I'm gonna have those linked down here below as well. I'm shooting on a very cloudy day right now, which is good because when there's too much sun, it kind of just washes out all the sparks and fire, stuff like that that we're gonna use. So that kind of works. I'm gonna be using my remote control to take lots of bursts of photos with a very fast shutter speed. So we get all these sparks and particles that are moving around really quickly. So fast shutter speed is definitely the way to go with this kind of thing. I'll also be incorporating a little bit of light as well with some of my LumQ panel minis. But the plan is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna take a bunch of photos with each and every different little practical effect to see which one is the best. And then I'll show the pictures right afterwards. And then when I'm all done with all the photos, we'll do a compare and contrast and figure out which is the best jetpack effect. Let's get started first with just the normal sparkler and see how that looks. So 
that was just the normal sparkler. I don't think that one's gonna be the best just because it's a pretty small amount of spark and I think it'll be just pretty minuscule as far as the whole entire photo goes. But it's worth giving it a shot, right? I mean, come on. So now we're gonna try some smoke bombs. There's a couple different colors here. I'm gonna try the blue and the purple. I think that would look cool with the blue trooper. And uh, one thing to really, really, really be careful about is the, the, these are basically just dyed smoke. And when the smoke can touch your figure, it can totally dye and change the color of your figure and stain it. So if, you, if I were to stick this blue smoke bomb right in his face the whole time, that figure is going to turn blue forever. So be careful. Don't let it get in touch with the smoke too much. I'm just gonna kind of stick it behind it and that's gonna be all. Uh, let's get that a shot. Oh boy, that, that was a lot of smoke. So I'm gonna try that again and try to capture the photo right as the first amount of smoke is coming out to see if that changes it. And this is with a different color too, so let's just give it another shot. So next I'm going to use the firework fuse and basically you just light this and it makes some cool little sparks and it looks kind of cool and it's actually a really fun thing to use. So it's going to be the same kind of thing as just using the sparkler but it just will have a different look and a different effect so let's give it a shot and see how that one looks. So for the last one, I'm gonna try my favorite one, which is the big neon sparklers. These things are awesome. Can't wait to use these ones. It's the same exact process as all the other sparklers, except this one is just a little bit bigger. So uh, yeah, let's go. Also, I just want to say a quick thing, because this is always the most commonly asked thing afterwards, is, is the figure destroyed or broken or burnt or whatever? No, he's totally fine. Totally A-OK. -okay. There actually, you know what, there, there is a tiny little bit right there, but that usually just rubs right off. So, and anyway, you know what, even if it does get a little burnt, I think it adds to the character and it looks cool. So, there you go. All right, now that we're all done with shooting, let's go compare and contrast and see which jetpack effect is the best. Okay, so here are all the final images here with all of the different jetpack effects on the clone trooper. So this is just a blank photo, nothing at all. And then this one here is just with the plain sparkler. And you know what? It doesn't look super crazy, super flashy, but it does look pretty cool. And it is, you know, these sparklers are the easiest ones to get a hold of. And the fact that you can still create a cool, practical jetpack effect with these basic, basic sparklers is pretty, I think, pretty dang awesome. So... I think it's cool. Not the best one, but still pretty awesome. And then this one, I actually really, really like how the firework fuses come out. The effect is really great because it does create a really cool outward kind of trajectory of the sparks. And it really looks like it's coming right out of the jetpack. So it really looks, it looks real. It looks like a real jetpack. And uh, so I really like this one. Definitely, definitely like this one. And with the smoke bomb, it's actually pretty cool. It's a totally different effect. You definitely need a little bit more light to make this happen, but it does look really cool. It's very, very different. It's definitely not my favorite, but it definitely does look really cool. This one is kind of just up to personal preference if you like this one or not, but it does look good. But I think my favorite is still the bigger neon long sparklers. They look really great. I mean, they emit the most amount of sparks which is great. They emit the most amount of light, which is great. And also the jet going on in here looks really good. It looks really good. So this is definitely my favorite. So I think now that I've decided, yep, this is the best effect that I can make practically, I'm gonna go out and take another shot with this guy with this jetpack effect and with lots of more effects and sparks and cool stuff going on. So I'm gonna go do that right now and let's get something awesome.
So this is how to use the free downloadable jetpack image file that I have linked in the description of this video. It's free. I made these. I actually took these photos. There's four different ones and you can use whatever one you want or both or all of them. Just open up the image in Photoshop or whatever program you're using and select the whole image, copy it, and then paste it into your photo you want the jetpack in. But most importantly, make sure to change the layer type to lighten so then all the black goes away. And then after you do that, you are free to move it around and adjust it however you want to make it fit in your photo with the jetpack. And that is it. And actually it comes out looking like this. So those are all the ways I know how to create a practical jetpack for toy photography. I would really love to hear what you guys think in the comments. Let me know which one of these you think is the coolest. Do you like the sparkler? Do you like the smoke bomb? Just let me know. I would love to hear what you think. And also, if you decide to use the free file I have linked in the description below for your toy photography, I would love to see that as well. Make sure you tag me in those photos on Instagram at SirDork730. As always, I would love to see that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.